Breaking news and a significant escalation of tension in the Middle East. Iran says it has launched drones and ballistic missiles towards Israel in retaliation for an attack in Syria that killed Iranian military commanders. Let us take a live picture right now over the skies of Tel Aviv, where it is, as you can imagine, a very tense evening. They are waiting to see how Israel's so-called Iron Dome holds. Israel says it could take hours for the drones to reach the area. It's unclear what they are targeting. President Biden vowing late today to defend Israel. He cut short a weekend trip and is at the White House tonight huddling with his national security team. CBS's Christian Benavides has the very latest. Iran has launched dozens of drones headed towards Israeli territory. An IDF spokesperson confirmed Saturday. This is a severe and dangerous escalation. Our defensive and offensive capabilities are at the highest level of readiness ahead of this large-scale attack from Iran. Earlier, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, in an address to the nation, said, Our defense systems are deployed. We are prepared for any scenario, both in defense and attack. U.S. officials believe Iran's attack could include more than 100 drones, 150 cruise missiles, and even ballistic missiles used for long-range strikes. President Joe Biden, who was in Delaware for the weekend, cut his trip short to head back to the White House to meet with national security officials, despite recent disagreements over its response in Gaza. At a press conference earlier this week, the president said the U.S. stands with Israel. We are devoted to the defense of Israel. We will support Israel. We will defend, help defend Israel and Iran will not succeed. Iran is looking to retaliate after an airstrike on the Iranian consulate in Syria two weeks ago. Seven military officers were killed. General Frank McKenzie, former head of Central Command, says there is real concern an Iranian attack could lead to wider conflict. If there's a significant mass casualty event inside Israel, then I think the possibility of escalation is very, very high. Israel has limited gatherings and is recommending its citizens to stay near safe rooms and shelters. Cristian Benavides, CBS News. Iran also warned it would target nearby countries that allowed Israel to use their airspace. Meantime, British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak vowed to stand up for Israel's security. We're monitoring developments and we'll bring you updates as they come in during this newscast.